The Coalition for Affordable TDM1 is a group of cancer patients, doctors and persons affected by cancer. On October 1st, 2015, they requested that the UK government take action to break the monopoly on a cancer drug that has a price of £102,405 per year. The drug in question has a generic name of Trastuzumab mtanzin and is also known by the abbreviation TDM1. Roche markets TDM1 as Cadzyla. TDM1 is used to treat patients who have HER2-positive breast cancer and who have developed resistance to Herceptin, another expensive Roche cancer drug. The coalition is asking the government to exercise its authority in intellectual property law for the crown use of patented inventions. One in five breast cancer patients test positive for a protein known as the Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2, or HER2, which causes an aggressive form of breast cancer. In technical terms, TDM1 is an antibody drug conjugate consisting of the humanized monoclonal antibody trastuzumab, a drug marketed separately by Roche's Herceptin, linked to the cytotoxic agent DM1, a product Roche licensed from Immunogen. You can think of TDM1 as a guided missile, with trastuzumab seeking out HER2-positive cancer cells and delivering a toxic and lethal payload consisting of DM1 to kill off the cancer cells while leaving the healthy cells intact. Both components of TDM1 are older drugs. Trastuzumab was developed in 1992 by Genentech. In 2001, scientists at Immunogen derived DM1 from its parent compound, metenzine, an alkaloid isolated from an Ethiopian shrub in the early 1970s. In 2014, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence, or NICE, estimated that 1,500 patients in the UK could benefit from TDM1 every year. But on August 8, 2014, NICE decided that the National Health Service should not reimburse TDM1, citing its extraordinarily high cost. A year of treatment for the average patient costs £102,405, roughly 3.9 times the 2014 per capita income of £26,350. The NHS continued to reimburse TDM1 using the Cancer Drug Fund, but only for patients living in England. Breast cancer patients living in Wales, Scotland or Northern Ireland were effectively blocked from access to this drug. On September 3rd, 2015, the Cancer Drug Fund made the decision to delist TDM1. After November 4th, 2015, no new patients will be reimbursed for TDM1. The Coalition for Affordable TDM1 wants the government to exercise its crown use authority to enable the manufacture, sale and use of a biosimilar generic version of the drug. Under sections 55 through 59 of the UK Patents Act 1977, the government or an authorised person may use, make or import a patented drug without the consent of the proprietor of the patent. Crown use is a special type of compulsory licence for patents, one that is used when the government itself wants to more easily overcome a patent monopoly. The government threatened to use the crown use provisions in the 1990s, to force Chiron, then a California biotech firm, to license its patents on diagnostic tests for the hepatitis C virus, or HCV. In the past, the Ministry of Health has employed crown use provisions to authorize the purchase of pharmaceutical drugs. In another case, Roach itself has requested compulsory licenses to use Chiron-owned patents for HIV and HCV diagnostic tests a dispute that was resolved when Chiron was forced to give Roche the licenses to market a rival diagnostic test. The request to use Crown Use is very important because it creates a new option and new hope for cancer patients. The government does not have to just accept a high price on a drug. The government has a choice. The grant of the monopoly on a drug can be treated as a privilege that is associated with an obligation to provide the drug at a reasonable cost. If Roche or any other company fails to make drugs available at reasonable costs, their monopolies should end. At least one company has offered to manufacture a generic version of TDM1 in England, and there are at least four companies who have the capacity to make the drug for the NHS. 
Registering a new drug can take time, but by demonstrating a willingness to break the monopoly when prices are too high, Roche may choose to lower the price on TDM1. Or the government can restore reimbursements for TDM1, knowing that the sanction of ending the monopoly will discipline the drug pricing decisions of other companies and save money on TDM1 later. Breast cancer patients are people. Our mothers, wives, sisters, daughters, friends, colleagues and neighbours. In the battle over high prices for cancer drugs, we do not want the patients to be used as hostages. The grant of the monopoly should be held hostage, not the patients. By the end of this year, Roche will have made nearly £40 billion on the sale of Herceptin, which is part of the new combination drug TDM1. Despite these massive profits, Roche has decided to make TDM1 vastly more expensive, in the belief that no government will have the courage to withdraw, modify or limit the legal monopoly on the drug. Roche is a Swiss business, organised to make as much money as possible for its owners. The UK government is organised to protect the public. It is time to do the right thing and end the monopoly on this overpriced cancer drug. It is time to protect our mothers, sisters, daughters, colleagues and friends.